Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Amir Sphere. I finally went ahead and bought an SSD for my PlayStation 5. A ton of games are coming out this holiday season and you already know console storage is not enough. Being able to keep a bunch of games downloaded is always a priority. And hopefully you guys take advantage of any sales going on this holiday season because now you know it's a great time to pick up an SSD for your console. Now in today's video I'll be doing an unboxing as well as an installation guide for those who haven't already seen one yet. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Now upon opening up the box we are greeted with a welcome western digital black as well as the SSD looks really clean and almost gives like a black grade military type design. It already comes with a pre-installed heat sink so it's essentially like a plug and play drive. Now here's the back side. I would have gone for the 2 terabyte model but for the price and that I don't play as much games as I thought I would have, the one I have here is perfect for me. However, anyone who's interested in more storage, the installation process still remains the same. Now, the next step is to make sure the PS5 is completely turned off. This way, no data is lost and nothing bad might happen to your system. Once done, unplug any cables still in the system. Then you want to remove the stand and screw holding it in place. This depends on how you have your PS5. This next step might be some trouble, but essentially you want to grab the top left corner, lift it up, and push it away from the system as you can see in the video. With one of the covers off, we can now access the empty M.2 drive and install the SSD there. So with a small Phillips head screwdriver, remove the singular screw and plate cover which will reveal the smaller standoff screw for the SSD. Be careful with these screws because they are extremely tiny and can easily be lost. Thankfully I have a magnetic screwdriver, but still be mindful. Now as for the SSD installation process, you want to insert it at an angle and slide it into the slot until you hear a sound confirming that it's entered correctly. Then with the SSD standoff underneath, use the small screw to hold the SSD in place. After that's done, place the M.2 cover back on and use the custom PlayStation screw to seal it. Now to put the plate back over on the PS5, it's really simple to slide it back using the same technique as before until you hear a loud click. Now the SSD has been completely installed next to stand either vertical or horizontal and proceed to plug the cables back in and start up the console. Now upon following all the steps correctly, you will then be prompted to a format SSD screen where it makes sure it's the right storage software and read speed for the SSD. Once it's done formatting, you'll be brought back to the PS5 menu like normal, but when you go to settings, storage, you can see the name and that one terabyte is available and ready to use immediately. And that's it. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, be sure to leave a like and comment if you want more content like this. Subscribe to the channel and be a part of Amir Sphere. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.